Conqueror, the grand prize winner at this year's Cannes Film Festival, starring Max von Sydow as a Swedish farmer who in the 19th century takes his son to Denmark in search of a better life. But instead of finding an easy life, they end up working for a dishonest landowner. The living conditions are extremely primitive, and the boy is subject to abuse from other youngsters working on the estate, in part because he's Swedish and a crude foreigner to the Danes. <laughs> And that is the great Max von Sydow as young Pelle's father. They share their miserable life together with a son, oddly enough, more resilient than the dispirited father. Von Sydow's degradation is authentic, as is most everything about this period movie, which convincingly takes us to a hard time not really all that long ago. Pelle the Conqueror is a film that celebrates the peasant without making him a saint. The film is beautifully shot, and after it's over, we think we've seen a living chapter in history. It's a fine film. I've always complained that the hardest kinds of pictures to do are period dramas, mm -hmm. because frequently they don't look dirty enough, the people talk in a natural way. This film felt authentic, like that great, uh, what was a great double picture? The series? Immigrants and the New Land. You yeah, got but it. I didn't think this film came anywhere well, that's near a better to being film. as good as The Immigrants But would you recommend this one? Uh, you know, it's a real close call for me. I'm not sure I would, and I'll tell you why. For the same reason that you didn't like uh, The Boost. This movie was really predictable from beginning to end. I mean, once every character is set up, you know more or less what's going to happen to them. We've seen these kinds of pictures before in which little boys grow up in ways that are sometimes painful because of the evil adults in their lives and so forth. It's kind of Dickinsonian. And I don't know, it just seemed to me as if it was moving very slowly and it took a very long time to get to the end. Max von Sydow was terrific in the role but I wasn't really challenged to get involved and engaged. What in about movie. the look of the picture? Had you seen a picture? The picture looked great. Well, uh, picture looked great. It was it, wonderfully photographed. When you say it's, it looks great, though, I don't want to say that it looks spectacular, but it, it looked bleak. I mean, I, it looked, I guess... It was very, very well photographed. If you wanted me to only judge the photography, I'd, I don't want it, to, I'd put my thumb up for that. The photography has an emotional character all of its mm -hmm. own, though. I, I, for me, it's fascinating to see, again, I say not that mm -hmm. long ago, I mean, we're talking a little over a century ago, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. about really hard, hard times, and I found that instructive. Well, the jury of the Cannes Film Festival agreed with you. So okay, you're not totally alone. Even I don't know if I'd make it a grand prize. Program. I wouldn't make it a grand prize winner, but I just think it was a solid picture. Okay. Another split decision on Pelle the Conqueror, the Cannes Grand Prize winner set in 19th century Denmark. Gene liked the period look of the picture so much that he felt he could really feel it. I liked the photography too, but not enough to vote thumbs up.